Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a massive closet clean out. I'm moving to college in a couple months and obviously I'm not going to have as much room as I do here in my room at my parents house. So I want to go through some of my clothes and see if there's anything I just don't wear anymore that I need to donate or sell. I'm also going to be doing some alterations on clothing that doesn't really fit me how I want it to. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so the first category of clothes we're going to start with is tops. As you can see, I've lined up all my tops on this clothing rack and I'm basically just going to try them all on one at a time. I'm going to decide if I'm going to keep them and keep them on the rack, if I'm going to donate them and put them in a pile on the floor that you're not going to be able to see, or if I'm going to try and alter them and I'll have that in another pile on the floor that you won't see. First is this queen t-shirt, which I literally wear like all the time. If you ask my family, I literally probably wear it at least twice a week. So there's absolutely no chance I'm getting rid of this one. Next is this white button-up, which it kind of like comes in like a corset in the middle. And it's really nice because it makes it super easy to tuck it in and layer it. And I'm going to keep this one because it is just so perfect for layering things over. Okay, next is this absolutely gorgeous silk blouse. I love the little like drawings on it. I think it's so cute and it has a really nice kind of oversized fit on me. I'm definitely keeping this because I just got it and also I just think it's so amazing. I just love this print and it's just so soft and buttery. Okay, next is this super gorgeous cream silk top. It's really similar to the other one, just obviously it doesn't have the lines. And honestly, I really love this and I've had it for a while now because I like refuse to accept the fact that it's too small for me. But this is a size 2 and I usually wear a size 8 so it doesn't exactly fit me. And also, since the sleeves are so tight, it's supposed to have like this little button, but this one came off. I have it sitting on my desk, I just haven't sewn it back on because I suck at sewing. So I think I'm going to put this in the alteration pile and see if I can get that button sewn back on. But if not, I guess I'll just have to sell it and find another one that's actually my size. Next we have this brown mock neck. It's kind of like a sweater, but it's pretty thin and breathable. I really like how it has like this lettuce hem detailing on the ends and the neck and the sleeves. I wear this all the time because I like putting like a quarter zip or a cardigan over it and it's just really good for layering in the fall because it doesn't get too hot because it's thinner material and it still is a really perfect neutral fall color. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Okay so next is literally the exact same top but in pink. Honestly I really expected to wear this a lot because I wear the brown one a lot. But I haven't really worn it that much since I got it. But it's also warmer weather right now and I feel like this is not something you'd go outside and wear in warmer weather. So I think I am going to keep it for now just because I do really love it and I think I would wear it if it was colder outside. But I might end up selling it at a later point if it actually doesn't seem like something I want to keep. Next we have this like cropped polo. It is pretty short, like this is shorter than I would have cut it, but I bought it when it was already cropped at a vintage store, so I can't really do anything about it. Other than that, I really like this, and I do wear it all the time, so I am going to keep it. Okay, so this shirt is kind of just this black crop top with like the same lettuce hem detailing on the sleeves, neck, and the bottom of the shirt. I think it's cute, but honestly, I just don't really wear this anymore. I used to wear it all the time but for some reason I don't really wear it, so I think I'm just gonna donate this or sell it. So this one's just a normal black t-shirt. I mean, there's not anything special about it. I think it's really great for layering, especially in the summer, so I am gonna keep this one. Next, I have this really cool hard rock vintage or vintage inspired tee. I got this one at the same vintage store as the crop polo, and I honestly really love it. It's a really good comfy shirt, and usually I wear it just like to bed or something, but it can be good for outfits too. Next I just have this basic white cropped top, and it's really great for layering. I wear this all the time. I wish it wasn't a see-through because I can't really wear it by itself, so I need to find a better white t-shirt that isn't see-through, so that way I can wear it with things layered over and by itself. So this is just this kind of dusty pink t-shirt. Honestly, I feel like it kind of turned more brownish, which is annoying, but I'm still going to keep it because it's super comfortable and goes with a lot of neutral outfits. I also have the exact same shirt in this lavender color. I got the other one and I loved it so much that I had to buy this one too. And honestly, I 100% would go back and buy other colors too. So this is just this like silk short sleeve button up. 
It has a really pretty floral pattern, which I absolutely love. I don't wear this super often, and I'm kind of mad because I wanted to have this like same shirt in a long sleeve version. So if I had that, I think I would probably sell this or donate it, but I'm gonna keep it for now because I do wear it every once in a while. So until I get like the long sleeve version, I guess this one's just gonna have to do. So next I have another short sleeve button up. I think it's really pretty. It's got like these like pearl detail buttons with like little silver accents. But I don't really love it because the sleeves are kind of awkward fitting and they're really tight elastic. Also, I always want to tuck it in because the length is awkward, but then like these buttons will just like unbutton randomly. And I don't know, I wore this a lot last summer and I think I've worn it like once or twice this entire year. So I think I'm going to actually sell this one. Okay, so next is this kind of puff sleeve polka dot top. It's really cool. It's got like this little like ruffling detail. I honestly really love this top and I recently rediscovered that I have it. So I told myself I was going to wear it all the time because it's really cute and I wore it once and now it's just been sitting in my closet the entire time. I think I'm going to sell slash donate this one because I just don't wear it that much. So this is another puff sleeve top and it's got polka dots on it like on the sleeve. I think this is super pretty. And I like how it's like adjustable so it can be more cropped or longer depending on how you want to wear it. I wore this all the time last year, like probably like once or twice a week. And I haven't worn it that much this year, but I still really like it and I'm definitely going to keep it because it's one of the prettiest tops I think I own. Okay, this top is so gorgeous. I mean, look at this print. It is so beautiful. I really love this top. I think it is like one of the most prettiest things. I love like the neckline with the puff sleeves in this rose print. But the reason I just don't really wear this is because this part keeps like lifting up and off my body every time I wear it. So I think this one just doesn't fit me right and I'm gonna have to sell slash donate it. Okay, and this is the last piece we have in this category. It's another puff sleeve top, but it's just plain black. And I really like the fit of this one. It fits me really well and I wear it pretty often, so I am going to keep it. It brings it in. So the next category is going to be tank tops and also I included sweater vests with this category. First we have this super pretty floral tank top with this like button detail down the middle. I really like this top and I'm definitely going to keep it because I wear it pretty often and it's super pretty. Next is this emerald green tank top. I actually got this at an antique store for like $12, which is a steal because it's the gold tag Victoria's Secret, if that means anything to you. And I am going to keep this because I think it's really pretty and I really like the material of it. I also have a similar tank top in this cream color. I think it's also super pretty. Layered over this t-shirt, I actually really like it and I think I'm going to keep this one. I also have this really pretty pink silk cami and it has a bunch of really cool lacing detail here and here. I don't like how it has like the like boob separation areas. I think that's really annoying and kind of unflattering honestly. So I do wish it didn't have that. But other than that, this is super pretty and I love layering with this one. So I am definitely going to keep it. Next I have this black tank top and I really like how it has like the button detail down the middle. This one is actually a bodysuit. I was too lazy to actually like put it on right and honestly I'm not a big fan of bodysuits. I think it's pretty annoying. So if I found a top like exactly like this in a non bodysuit form, I would definitely take it over this one. But I still do really like it despite the like annoyance of the bodysuit part. So I'm definitely going to keep this one too. I really love this sweater vest. I think the pastel colors are super pretty together. Like I love the combination of the pink, green, and cream colors. It's also like knitted, which makes it super breathable. So it's really great for warmer weather, but it can also be like layered up for colder weather too. I'm 100% keeping this because this is one of my favorite pieces I own. Okay, so this sweater vest is also super pretty. I love the little details, like the knit details on it, and the color is really perfect. But it kind of has a weird fit on me, like the neckline I feel like is kind of awkward and every time I wear it I keep having to like readjust it and pull it down because it kind of like rides up as you're wearing it. So I think I am going to get rid of this one 
I just wish it was kind of longer and was a bigger size so it fit me better. So this last sweater vest is this more baggier one. It also has a knit pattern to it. I really like this sweater vest and I wish I had it in more colors because I really like the baggy style of sweater vests, honestly. I'm definitely going to keep this one because I love it. To be honest, I really forgot I had this tank top until recently and I'm kind of mad about it because I should have been wearing this all summer. It's super comfy and stretchy and it really goes great with a lot of outfits. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. So I also have some corset style tops that I feel like kind of classify as tank tops. I'm not going to try them all on just because it's really a hassle to put them on, but I'm still going to show you them and decide if I'm going to keep a couple of them. This is the first one. I really love the pattern on this one. Like it's got this like really cool floral pattern. And I love how it has like the lace detailing and this little bow. The one thing I don't love is this little like awkward sleeve thing. I feel like it doesn't really look that good on me, but I still love the rest of this corset enough to make up for it. So I'm going to be keeping this one. I also have this kind of mauve lacy colored corset. I really love the little details and sparkles on this one. I think it's so pretty. I'm definitely going to keep this one because I do wear it a lot and I am absolutely obsessed with it. Don't ask me how, but I somehow ended up with the exact same corset, just in blue. I really love this one too. I think blue is also a really great color for this one and I love the shade of it. But honestly, I don't really reach for it that much and since I already have the pink one, I feel like I can't really justify having both, so I'm going to sell this one, unfortunately. This last one I have is this For Love and Lemons Melrose top. I really like this one. I love the button detail down the middle and the lace things on the cups, but I honestly just don't wear this at all, really. I don't think I've ever worn this outside of the house. I've worn it like twice for a couple outfit reels and that's it. I can't really justify keeping this and even though I really wish I wore it more, I just know I'm not going to, so I need to sell or donate this. Okay, the next section is going to be on my coats and jackets. First is this amazing denim jacket with the snake lace detailing on the back. I got this from Dragon Denim and it's one of my favorite things I've ever owned and I absolutely love it. I also have this really pretty dusty pink colored blazer. I wear this all the time, you've probably seen it in like every outfit YouTube video I've made. I just really love the fit of it. Like it's hard to find a blazer that you actually like like and fits you well. So I'm really glad I have this one and I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Next is this really pretty floral knit cardigan. The flowers were hand knitted on there and I think it's so cute. I love how they like pop up and it's so perfect for springtime. I think this cardigan is so pretty, but I just don't wear it that much. This is going to be hard. I can't decide if I want to keep it because I'm, it's so gorgeous and I absolutely love this. Like I've, I've worn it all the time in videos or reels or anything like that where I've styled things, but I just don't really wear it outside that much. It is warmer weather so I guess that does kind of affect things, but I just don't think I'm going to wear it that much. I think I'm going to try selling this for the amount I paid for it. And if it doesn't sell, then I'm just gonna keep it because I'm totally fine keeping this. I just don't wear it super often. Next is this just really pretty lavender cardigan. And I wear this all the time when it's cold outside, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. Next is this London Fog brand green jacket. I really love this and 100% I'm gonna... There's a mask. I wear this all the time when it's cold outside. It's also my favorite color and there's just like no way I'm ever going to get rid of this because I think it's so comfy and so cute. Oh, and there's a fidget spinner. Next I have another London Frog blend. Next, I have another London Fog Brands coat. It has this really cute plaid lining, and it's super comfortable, and I really love the color of this. I think it's so cute, and I wear this a lot when it's cold outside. I also have this beige cardigan, 
It's super comfortable too, again perfect for fall. I wear this a lot during colder weather too, so I am not going to be getting rid of it. Next is this really cute dark blue corduroy jacket. It's vintage L.L. Bean and I actually cropped it because I like the look of it better this way. I think this is really cute and I do wear it like all the time. I also have this amazing NASCAR UPS jacket. It's got such great details. I really love this, but I don't think I've ever worn this outside the house. Really the only time I ever wear this is for reels, and not even outfit videos. This is literally the jacket I use when I make reels making fun of myself for how many packages I get. This makes me sad, but I think I am going to have to sell this one because it was just kind of expensive and I don't wear it at all outside of the house, so I don't feel like it's worth having it if I don't even wear it. Next is this blue and green little gingham cardigan. It actually looks pretty terrible with this brown tank top underneath, but I cannot be bothered to change it right now. So, anyways, I think this is a really cute cardigan, and I absolutely love this and wear it all the time, so I am going to be keeping it. This is another really cute coat I thrifted, and honestly, I think everybody needs to own a trench coat, because... I think it goes with so many outfits and it's just so cute. I'm going to be keeping this one too. So lastly, I have another corduroy jacket. I think this is really pretty. I love how cream corduroy looks. I think it's just such a nice look. I thrifted this pretty recently, so I haven't really worn it that much since it's been hot outside. But honestly, I think I'm going to have to crop this a little bit at least because I'm just not a big fan of how long it is. And I also just think the back looks kind of awkward like this. So I'm going to put this in the alterations pile. Alright, so next we're going to be trying on all my sweaters. First is this cream ribbed mock neck sweater. I really like this one and it's really perfect for layering. I just kind of wish the sleeves were a bit longer because they're a little bit short on me. So it's annoying that I have to like pull them down a lot. But other than that, I think this is a really cute top and kind of just like a staple for your wardrobe, so I'm definitely be keeping it. I also have this really big chunky knit sweater. This sweater is really, really warm, so I really like it when it's super cold outside. And it's honestly pretty comfy, which is hard to find with knit sweaters like this. So I'm going to be keeping this one. So this is just a plain black ribbed turtleneck. This is another like closet essential that everybody needs. And it honestly fits me pretty well. The sleeves are a little bit short, but whatever. I just have long arms, I guess. I think this is really cute and perfect for layering, so I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Next is another sweater that I just wear all the time. I really like the line details on this one. However, it does have like a pretty big hole on it. I don't know how that happened, but it makes me sad. So I'm going to put it in the alteration pile and see if I can fix that. Next is this cropped bubble sleeve top. And I honestly used to be super into tops that were this style, like with the bubble sleeves and like these little dot thingies coming up. And it's kind of a perfect cropped length. However, I just don't really wear it. So I think I am gonna sell slash donate this one because there's no point of it sitting in my closet if I'm just not gonna wear it. Next is this sage green cropped quarter zip. I actually cropped it myself. So I've actually had this for a really long time and I only recently cropped it and that's when I started wearing it more. So I'm really glad that I did that because I really just like the style of it more and I think it fits me a lot better because I didn't like how long it was and it was really hard to like tuck in all that fabric every time I wanted to wear it. It's also my favorite color which is another reason why I really love this piece and I'll be keeping it for a long time. I also have another quarter zip in this beige color. This one's actually super cozy like it's got like that really nice lining that's just so comfortable. I think I'm actually going to crop this one too because I feel like I would wear it more if I did that. So I'm going to put this one in the alterations pile. Next is this really pretty kind of rust color turtleneck. I really like this one. I think it's so comfortable and pretty, but it's just too cropped for me, honestly. So I think I am going to actually sell this one. Next I have just this basic gray sweater. It's super cozy and kind of like oversized on me, so I really like tucking it in. I've actually had this sweater since middle school, and for some reason I still really love it, which I feel like is pretty rare for me because, well, I'm sure most of us can agree our middle school selves did not have the best taste. But yeah, I'm going to be keeping this one. 
Next, we're gonna be going through my dresses. I actually just got this dress and I'm so obsessed with it. I think this is so pretty. I love all the like little details on it, like the little like frilly thingies and the bows. I think this is so beautiful. I've been looking for this dress for a really long time and I finally found it on Poshmark for a decent deal, so that's why I finally get to own it now. Next is this cute little pink and white floral dress. I really like this. I love the like tiered skirt and the puff sleeves. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one because I wear this pretty often, honestly. Next is this cream rib dress. I like it, but it doesn't fit me right because like this like awkward area does not come down far enough. Which makes me sad because this is really cute. And when I got it, I was excited to style it, but I think I'm just going to have to sell this one because it doesn't fit me right. Next is this cute little brown plaid mini dress. I'm so obsessed with this. I love this dress so much and it looks so good layered on its own, even more as a top or a skirt. So like, I wear this all the time and I absolutely love it. I am definitely not going to be getting rid of this one anytime soon. I really, really love this plaid dress. I love how it's like a mesh layer over the rest of the dress. I think it's so pretty and flattering. This is a size too small for me. I usually wear like a medium or large and this is a size small, but I mostly just layer it over tops anyway, so you can't really tell. If I find this exact dress in a medium or large, then I'll definitely switch it out. But in the meantime, I'm totally fine keeping this one and dealing with it because this is just too cute to get rid of. This dress was my homecoming dress and I really love the material and color of it. I think it's super gorgeous. I'm just not a big fan of how it fits me. So I'm gonna put this in the alteration pile and see if there's anything I can do to make it better. But if not, I'll probably just end up selling it or donating it. And last is my selkie dress, which I mean, should be pretty obvious that I'm keeping this because this is like the most gorgeous dress ever and I absolutely love it. I love this dress. I love like the puff sleeves, the corset kind of style top and how it like poofs out in the end. I think this dress is so beautiful and I'm gonna wear it any chance that I get. So now I'm gonna go through all my bottoms and we're gonna start with shorts. These are just like some distressed shorts that I thrifted. I think the brand is like Urban Outfitters or something. I mean, there's not really much to say here. They're kind of just like my casual comfy shorts for the summer and I'm definitely gonna be keeping them. And my cat just decided to visit me too. Anyways, next is these just orange corduroy shorts. Honestly, I don't really wear these that often, so I think I am gonna sell them. Next in the pile is this pair of orange tab Levi's that I thrifted like so long ago. I still really love these, but they don't really fit me anymore. They honestly never really did. I just kind of made it work. They're just too small. So I'm gonna have to sell them, but I'm just really sad because the reason I kept them this long is because they just like was one of the first pieces I ever thrifted and I just think they're so cute. Next we have another corduroy pair. I actually wear these pretty often, which surprises me because I feel like this is a color I don't wear a lot of. I just think they're super comfy and great shorts, so I'm gonna be keeping these ones. I really like this pair because I like the cuff style and how it's longer. Plus the material kind of gives off like a vintage -y look, which I really like too. I wear these all the time and they're just a really great staple to have in your closet. I'm gonna be keeping these ones as well. These shorts are also super cute, but I just don't really wear them that often. I don't know why I don't wear them because they're super comfortable and they're really lightweight and airy, so they're really great for summer. I think I'm gonna keep these for the rest of summer at least, just to see if I wear them. And at the very least, I could just wear them for like pajamas because they are so comfortable. This is my last pair of shorts and it's just this really pretty purple short that I got at like Target or something. They have these really cool pleats on them and kind of just an overall vintage style, which I really love. Even though it is such a like bright color, I actually think it's really easy to style and I love wearing these shorts. I'm definitely gonna be wearing these all summer. My next category is skirts. I really like this one. It's this really soft suede material and I think it's really perfect for fall. I also think this skirt is super comfortable. I'm definitely gonna be keeping it. Next is this really cute kind of light green and white plaid pattern skirt. 
I don't wear this as much as I'd like to, but I still do think it's super cute and I am going to keep it. I really love the color and pattern on this skirt. I just think it's so gorgeous and I love like the like flowy feel of it and it's super soft and comfortable. But the one thing I would change is they're kind of short. So if there's like a single gust of wind, I'm basically over. But other than that, I think the skirt is super perfect. Next, I have this short black pleated skirt. I really like this and it's super versatile and I literally wear it all the time, so I'm definitely going to be keeping it. I think this is another staple that everybody needs to have in their closet. I also have this black silk skirt with like this lacing detail on the bottom, but it doesn't fit me anymore which makes me super sad, so I might have to find this another size, but for now I'm just going to have to sell it. My last skirt is this black long one, which I absolutely love and I wear it with a lot of outfits. I'm definitely going to be keeping this one as well. Okay, next I'm just going to go through all my jeans pretty quick. These are my Levi's 512 and probably my most worn pair of jeans. I think these are a really great fit and you should definitely try these out if you like the whole like vintage look with a tapered leg. Next I have another pair of Levi's. This is just a cut off pair. They are kind of short for me but what can you do? I still really like the color of them and I wear these all the time with platform boots. I also have this pair of Levi's 550. This is another great pair of jeans that has like a tapered leg and a vintage inspired look to it. My last pair of jeans is this black pair of Arizona jeans. They are pretty long on me, so I think I'm going to put these in the alterations pile just so I can kind of cut them a little bit and make them fit me better. But I still think they're a really nice fit and a nice vintage look. I almost forgot about these, which are just like these Gap jeans. I think they're vintage inspired. I actually thrifted these pretty recently. I really love the light wash color of them and I've been looking for this style, but they're just too short for me. So I'm gonna have to sell them and try to find a different pair I like. Next is gonna be the rest of my pants. I have these gorgeous corduroy Levi's and I'm absolutely obsessed with these. They're so soft and comfortable. Honestly, I haven't worn these that much, so when I was looking at them in the pile, I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna sell these, but now that I'm trying them on again, I just have to keep them. They're just so beautiful. Next is this cream-colored pair of pleated pants, and I actually wear these all the time, even in the summer, because they're just super lightweight and kind of airy because of the material so they don't cause me to overheat. I'm gonna be keeping these because they're super cute and go with a lot of outfits. Next is a pair of houndstooth pants. These are a little bit big on me on the waist, but I don't even really care because I really love the fit of these and the pattern is like perfect. I feel like it's really hard to find plaid or houndstooth or any like similar style of pants in a pattern that I actually like. So the reason I'm like keeping these even though they are a little bit too big is because it is so hard to find a pattern of houndstooth that I actually like. And then this pair is kind of a similar story because it's like this plaid pattern and I feel like plaid is also another one that's like hard for me to find something that I actually like. I really like the fit of these and they're kind of the perfect length for docks for me. So I'm definitely going to be keeping these because they're super comfortable and cute. So you already saw this pair a lot earlier in the video, but I was just going to show it again because I really love these pants. They're kind of like this like light grayish white color and it's really pretty and the style is super flattering. I just really love the fit of these and they're super comfy and stretchy and breathable. So yeah, I'm definitely be keeping these for a long time. Next is this brown gingham pair of pants which I am absolutely obsessed with. I love the little pleats and like how high rise it goes and they're just like so comfy. I also love the huge wide leg on them. It's not something I'd usually be comfortable with but I actually really love it in a pant like this. Next is this black silky style of pants. I just think these pants are so beautiful. And they also have these like leg slits on them. I wasn't really sure about that when I first got them, but I actually ended up really liking them. We finally made it to the last article of clothing I own. My camera has been so close to dying for like this entire pants category, so that's why I've been kind of going fast, but I think we made it without it dying. These are just some brown wide leg pants that I wear all the time. And I really like them because they can be more like business attire or they can be a little bit more casual and they're just super flowy and comfortable. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more thrifting and fashion content like this, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.
Yeah.